Hi, my dear neat warriors, all the neat droppers, all the neat uh, repeaters. Welcome aboard to this particular short, short instructional uh, video because uh, this is a proper strategy video. I'm going to give you the exact timelines in the daily planner as well as I'm going to give you, uh, you know, what are the things that you should do, what you should not do if you are a dropper student. So this video has been designed in a specific way, which is only meant to be, uh, you know, listened by all the droppers because, you know, the strategy, the mindset, the time which is available for all the repeater students is way, way different. And nice to see all of you. Hello, Krishna, Sharuka, Amna, Varra. Hello, Yadakula. Hello, Sharuga. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we, ha we have, you know, around two months, a uh, few days in our hand. And uh, can we really target 650 plus? Definitely. Meanwhile, what was the best score that you got in your mock test? Please let me know either in the chat box if you are watching it live or if you are watching it recorded. You can probably put it up even in the comment section. And then I'll ask you to put up a target also. Yes, sir, 650 plus. I'm going to achieve. Yes, sir, I'm going to uh, nail it. All right. So what was your current score? That was uh, that is something which I would definitely love to know if you're okay to share with all of us. And by the way, this is your Captain Shreyas, your physics master teacher. Uh, I have been training for a long time and sending kids just like you. Okay. Below average students, average students into their dream colleges. Sending a topper kid is a different story but sending a average average or below average kid to a dream college that is where you need that special mentorship that is where you need that special guidance you need that kind of mindset okay also also what is important is that you realize that this video whatever i tell you i will give you a plan I want each and every one of you to follow that plan so that next time or next year when you will be back to say buy or probably tell which college you are in, you will be one of those students who are in AIMS, GF, GFMCs or basically your AFMC or any such top college. I want to hear that from you. Right? Only if you follow this plan. Trust me, this is going to happen. And yes, 650 plus is possible no matter what. And I can see most of you are in the range of 300, 400 kind of thing. So that's that's quite possible. It's not that difficult. Okay. So what are the different things that you need to do? Starting off with a timeline, listen in carefully. You can also jot it down later on or you can take screenshots as well. I'll just make myself a little bit small. Starting from today. Till March 22nd. So this is the timeline which I am giving you. You are going to focus on class 12th syllabus. The reason is you will find many of the YouTube channels as well. They will be doing class 12th syllabus because class 12 board exams are going on. So it is very easy to find live content also for you. But having said that there is no hard and fast rule. It's just for your ease, for your benefit I am telling till March 22nd. Because most of the board exams will get over by that particular date and most of the YouTubers and most of the classes will be also giving you a lot of content on class 12. So why not take the best benefit out of it? So that is why till March 22nd, whatever is remaining, try to complete as much as possible. If few things are remaining, it's okay. Leave it then and there itself. Immediately go to class 11th revision and backlog completion. If you have a lot of backlogs, then this is very important. You have to have to go back to class 11. Class 11 has 50% weightage almost. So you cannot say class 12 will uh, fetch me 650 marks. Definitely not. It will give you probably, you know, close to 350 marks, but not more than that. So you have to go back to class 11. And the deadline for that is April 4th. Everybody with me on this? Understood till this point? Great. Next important thing. What is the next deadline which is going to come up on your screen? Well, till April 19th, you are going to do your first set of revision. Now, in this revision, you can also complete those topics which you had left in class 12th or in class 11th, uh, you know, during this uh, timeline from March, uh, you know, from now to March 22nd or April 4th. If there are a few small, small things here and there, complete those things, some missing concepts, some things which you realized all those things do it in your revision one 
रिविजन वन स्टिल यू कैन लर्न लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इवन ड्यूरिंग रिविजन यू कैन लर्न सम स्मॉल स्मॉल चैप्टर्स हियर एंड देयर विच आर वेरी इजी टू डू यू कैन डू बिग चैप्टर्स लाइक रोटेशन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट बट यस यू कैन डेफिनेटली फिल अप द गैप्स द स्मॉल स्मॉल गैप्स विच एव विच यू माइट हैव डेवलप हियर कम्स द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट टिल अप्रिल ट्वेंटी एथ हेलो एवरी वन टिल अप्रिल ट्वेंटी एथ दिस इज योर सेकेंड फेज ऑफ रिविजन that entire week you cannot you cannot learn new things you will be just revising you will be just solving more problems you will be solving some pyqs and all of that here you, you will not have that opportunity or that luxury to learn new chapters and from april 28th to may 5th that's your final lap that final lap you can consider it like the final revision the final round or revision number 3 but that revision is very very different than revision 1 2 this is your timeline this is exactly the timeline that you are going to follow if you are a part of the crash course 2.0 you will see the timeline almost is exactly like this all right more or less plus minus few days here and there and this will help you achieve your goals with revisions as well as you know other things uh, you know in the perfectly timed manner okay everybody with me on this understood what is the timeline that you have to follow great next important thing what is your daily schedule going to look like what is your daily schedule going to look like so you wake up let's say at 6 o'clock or 6:30 you have your wake up routine meaning you brush your teeth have your bath do some exercise finish it off till 7 o'clock 7 o'clock don't sit and have breakfast it's okay you can have some few dry fruits or maybe some fruits or something but immediately start solving problems write tables write formulas written practice no oral practice what did i just say written practice then after that you have your breakfast refresh yourself and again sit for 3 hours of continuous study till 12 o'clock have your lunch till 1 if you want you can have your small power nap it's okay small power nap not don't sleep for uh, 40 minutes and 50 minutes and all you can sleep for 15 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes max not more than that and then come back and start completing your uh, old notes or uh, written practice or if there are some backlogs which you have developed try to cover them up between 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock then obviously 5 o'clock your crash course or general coaching will start so continue with your coaching in between i think if you are attending the coaching or the crash courses online then you get some breaks so that time you finish your dinner and have your family time and very important after the coaching don't go to sleep it's very important revise solve some pyqs on the topics which were taught to you that day or practice some problems so if you see when you wake up and just before you sleep it starts or ends with pra problems practice or revision or tables or formulas during the day time it's more about learning theory completing backlogs making big big notes or whatever and you know those kind of things reading and listening those kind of things and the evening time is meant for coaching so that's how it distributed and you get close to 10 to 11 hours of study time yeah everybody can achieve this 10 plus hours of study time give me a thumbs up smash the like button right now if you think you can achieve it i have given you a perfect time table for all the droppers you don't have board exams nothing so concentrate and if you are a partial dropper make sure that you are bunking your uh, college because these two months are very important for all of you if you can miss your college and attend in neat classes and uh, follow up on your neat time table i feel that will be better now what should be your strategy for 650 marks listen in carefully this is a very important slide see let's say you solve 88 questions in biology i am giving you two questions which you might not be able to do let's say for example two questions you are not able to do still you will get 350 plus marks 40 questions in chemistry 160 marks 35 questions in physics 140 marks that makes the total 652 that is what is needed this is i think a very realistic target realistic score realistic approach some people will be like no sir i don't think biology i can score that well maybe chemistry is not that great physics i can do well so for those students this is the strategy which you can use you solve 86 questions in biology 38 questions in chemistry properly 39 questions in physics that again gives you a total of 652 marks how many of you will go with strategy 1 how many of you will go with strategy 2 or how many of you will probably do something else but 
you know you understood what you have to target now one two or three put it up quickly in the chat box one two or three quickly put it up in the chat box yeah one of these strategies only you will have to apply my dear warriors you cannot reduce the number of questions drastically beyond this this is like the bare minimum little bit plus and minus if you reduce in one subject you have to increase in the other subject okay i hope this is clear then what are the things you should not do things like comparing it with others your scores only reading not practicing and if you are trying to give full syllabus test but you have not even completed the portion just for the heck of it you are giving it that is also strictly not advisable be it fresher be it dropper in fact you should also not be using calculators because that will affect your calculation speed you should be doing proper rough work memorizing the tables and then doing the calculations and please do not watch which videos uh, sorry which chapters to skip okay don't skip syllabus that's not the time right now is the time to complete the syllabus and the timeline which i gave you just some time back if you are not following a timeline if you don't have a timetable you will do random things you will feel like doing this you will feel like doing that that is also going to waste a lot of your time and if you are not studying for more than 10 hours the timetable which i gave you is useless then and if you if you study less you will definitely not be able to complete a lot of syllabus so please at least study for 10 hours bare minimum ideally you should study for 12 hours also please don't waste too much of your time making notes because notes should be short precise main thing is you know solving problems learning the theory crisp notes flash cards are more than enough now is not the time for making many notes also many students think sir i can just do ncert and pyqs no that is not going to help you it will probably give you 400 marks or 300 marks but not 650 marks so for 650 marks you have to solve the coaching material what you should do you should write 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 as simple as that as simple as that you have to write a lot of stuff remember that only then it will enter your head reading is just a part of it minimum 50 problems for small chapters 200 problems for big chapters you have to solve these are non pyq questions if you talk about pyqs 20 pyqs at least for small chapters and 40 to 50 pyqs for big chapters okay understood high weighted chapters i am giving you all the numbers i have given you the timeline everything all numbers i am giving you if you just write mock tests and don't analyze you are attending the next class useless sit analyze the report card see where you are wasting time see where your accuracy is going below the required level you have to plan for 20 to 30 mock tests and if you are a part of the vedantu neet crash course you will be easily doing so many mock tests as a part of the crash course itself okay minimum 10 hours of study i just now told you sacrifice everything be it anything and everything guys you have to give it up for the next two months you make your mindset like that because need is top priority nothing else comes about need for the next two and a half months two months the most important thing for all the warriors is your love and focus because if you do not focus and prioritize need if you do not have the aim or the ambition for going into the dream college everything else is a waste watching n number of videos is a waste if you love it if you want it if you desire to go into fmc aims jipmer like colleges you will do everything that it takes if you have realized it late also you will still do those extra things to get into that college so understand your true motivation realize your true motivation realize what your dreams are and you cannot just keep dreaming you have to turn it into reality and you just have two months what whatever it takes do it right now because after 5th may you can't do anything nobody can do anything till 5th may you can do anything and everything to make your dream come true remember that okay so now is the time to target 650 plus and achieve your dream target i am giving you the test schedule also right from you know this week onwards till 3rd of may i am giving you the part test syllabus uh, part test uh, syllabus uh, details as well as the full uh, test syllabus details so these are the dates where the part test and the full syllabus test will be conducted these are the basic tests apart from that there will be more tests which will be conducted on the vedantu platform and they will be also rank predictor test all india rank test 
all these kind of tests will be a part of the test series in the Vedantu NEET 2.0 crash. Remember that. Okay. All the chapters will be completed right from beginning, right from the scratch in English medium. You can see all the list of the chapters is right over here. Be it physics, be it chemistry, right? All the 11th, 12th chapters, everything will be completed, including biology and that too in English. And right from scratch, that's very important with assignments, with coaching module. And also, also you will be getting a doubt solving facility. So that if you have any doubts, you can always ask our special dedicated team meant to solve all your doubts. You will be getting notes. You will be getting everything. You will be getting the recordings. You will be getting counseling. You will be getting strategies. You will be getting tips as a part of the NEET 2024 Crash Course 2.0. So if you are not aware of it, let me show that to you as well. It's there right in the description box as you are watching this particular video, my dear warriors. So as you're watching this particular video, go down in the description box. You can see NEET 2024 Crash Course. It's starting tomorrow, 26th Feb. Yes, it's starting tomorrow. Yep. You can also find some of my classes, Gopika Mams classes, Diksha Mams classes, Basosar's classes as well. All the three subjects, English, you can see. And it's for just 4,000 rupees as an early bird offer for Crash. In Crash Plus, it's for 12,000 bucks. Now, the difference between Crash and Crash Plus is that in Crash Plus, you will get an additional mentor as a personal teacher for all of you. Otherwise, everything else is same. You can see the only difference is in the personal teacher. Otherwise, everything else, be it assignments, be it digital study material, post-class doubt solving assignments, in-class doubt solving, in-class quizzes, leaderboards, classes by teachers, recordings, everything will be same as it is. Okay. So you can say crash and say buy full course. The course is starting tomorrow. After the seats are full, the prices are going to go up from 4,000. Let me also remind you of that. And you can use any of your favorite methods to join into this particular crash course. Remember that. So remember this crash course is starting tomorrow. Yes, it's starting tomorrow. And this is an early bird offer which I'm giving you, which will follow the exact same plan as I mentioned to you, uh, you know, at the starting, you know, of this particular video. I want each and every dropper. I want each and every student who is going to uh, probably taking your first drop, second drop, fifth drop, tenth drop, doesn't matter. Please make this NEET 2024 your last NEET examination. It is now or it is never. There is no question of need 2025. It's need 2024 now or never. Let me know all of this in the comments. I want everybody's motivation. I want everybody's commitment towards need 2024. Need 2024 above everything else. Need 2024 is love. AFMC aims is love. It's now or it is never. Right? And if you are determined and focused for this, let me know in the comments and also smash the like button. If you loved the timetable, if you loved the schedule, if you loved the plan that I have given to all of you. Thank you so much. This was 